Lives of our Saints. On the 3rd of September, our church celebrates the feast day of Saint Anthimos. The following are some thoughts on his life and works. Anthimos was an earnest and fearless priest of a Christian church at a time when Christianity was being attacked from all sides by the pagan majority who were confirmed by those unfortunates who had not heard the message of Christ. It was to the latter more than the former that Anthimos directed his efforts. He had already earned the reputation for Christian piety and devotion when the triumphant emperor returned following his conquest of Ethiopia. Flushed with his great victory, the emperor proclaimed a holiday period of celebration, and in conjunction with that, he instructed his subjects to give thanks and pay homage to the pagan gods whose favour he had won. However, the Christians, who had grown in numbers, defied that order under the leadership of Anthimos, who was now their bishop. When he received word of this, the emperor ordered that their church be destroyed by fire and that the worshippers of Jesus be put to death. Anthimos was forewarned by a friend in the king's circle, and gathering his flock, he took to the hills from where they saw the sky light up from their blazing church. Undaunted, Anthimos and his people pressed on to a town where they rested and thanked the Lord for their deliverance. They were given little time, however, and their rejoicing was short-lived. The soldiers of the king were in hot pursuit, with orders to capture Bishop Anthimos and return him in chains to royal justice. Anthimos made the task easier for his pursuers, for at his bidding they were told where he could be found. The soldiers were astounded when Anthimos asked them to sit and rest and share his simple food. The gentle bishop assured them that he would cooperate with them to the fullest. Meanwhile, they were to rest up for the long journey back to the city. They were so overcome with shame for enchaining so gentle a priest that they offered to return without him on the pretext that their quarry had eluded them. The smiling Anthimos assured them that their truthfulness was worth more than the risk of being punished for their failures. Suffice it to say that all the soldiers who had pursued Anthimos were soon converted to Christianity. Cast into prison, Anthimos was put to unspeakable tortures, but throughout his suffering not once did he flinch in his allegiance to Christ. Out of the ranks of those who chose to follow the Messiah, only the bravest of men could lead. It was from a small but growing group of Christians that St. Anthimos took up the cross, exhibiting more daring than any of the enemies who would have him silence. He endured, he endured for as long as he did because of great courage, and courage was something that even the greatest of his enemies respected. It was only when he found himself placing others in danger that St. Anthimos surrendered and even made his surrender a triumph over evil. He was beheaded on the 3rd of September, 307.